Hi there, and welcome to this WP Zoom video tutorial. My name's Alex, and in the next five minutes, I'm gonna be showing you how to import the demo content of the Inspiry theme and quickly set up the Beaver Builder basics. Now, in order to save time, I've already set up the Inspiry theme, and I'm now just going to hop over to the WP Zoom theme options, and then click onto the demo content. And here I'm gonna be able to import one of the demos that you'll find for the theme on wpzoom.com. Make sure before you go through this process, you have the recommended plugins installed as you would have had suggested when you went through the theme installation. Now, if I click load demo content, then I'm going to be able to choose between these. I've got default, photography, agency, video, and hotel. And these are preset layouts and you can just customize them once the content is loaded. Here, I'm going to load the video. So I'll select that and press load demo content. In a couple of moments, that's going to be installed. Once that's done, you're gonna find this pop-up comes up and you just need to walk through these steps. Gonna regenerate the thumbnails in order to make sure the images are sized properly. I'll just skip forward whilst these go. And once those are all done, I can click through to the next step and load the default widgets, which will just set up the widgets as in the theme demo. I can also make sure that the main menu is set there. And then finally, I just need to select a static homepage and we'll go homepage and the post page, just select the blog. I can now just view my website and we'll find that immediately in only a couple of minutes, I've got my website set up as it was with the demo on wpzoom.com. So this is the video demo and you can see all of this is already done and I can just customize the content now. Now, because I've already got Beaver Builder installed, it's one of those recommended plugins with the theme, I can just go to pages and add new. Here I'm using Beaver Builder Standard, which is a premium version of Beaver Builder, which costs $99 and comes with additional page layouts, content templates, and modules like a contact form, slider, pricing tables, maps, that kind of thing. But you can also use the free version of Beaver Builder, which is the version you'll get when you install the suggested plugins with the theme. So either will work fine, it's just if you want that extra functionality. So in order to create a page, I can just press on the Beaver Builder button here and then launch Beaver Builder. And that's going to take me to the front end of my site where I can start using the various features. If it's your first time, you might want to take this tour. I've already used Beaver Builder before, so I'm not going to need to. Now you can find several pre-built Inspiro specific layouts that we've built just for this theme. If you head to templates, and then under the group, just set that to Inspiro. And this will let you select one of the templates that we've created. This can include the default agency, hotel, video, about, and services. I've got the video template already for the overall theme, but I could import the about page with just one click. You'll see that just takes a moment to set up. And now I'm able to set this all up using Beaver Builder. And that means that I can just click and then edit my text. So if I just wanted to change that, easy peasy. When I'm done, all I need to do is press done and publish and WordPress is going to publish that for you. That's all there is to it. Um, you can see I haven't set a title, which you'll probably want to do on most of your pages. You can also get back to Beaver Builder from the front end of your site. So if you just press on the Beaver Builder button, it's gonna load up Beaver Builder on the site um, and with them able to make any changes directly. So here you can see we're again back in that layout. With Beaver Builder, each of these is using a module and these are preset for you, but you can add additional modules by pressing the plus button up here. And then you go from modules and then you'll see these are available and you can just drag and drop whatever you want. So if I wanted to drop in an extra photo here, it's just a case of dragging and dropping. Um, I could choose the photo and so on. I won't actually do that now just to save time. You can also add rows and so on in order to uh, select the layout. Um, so you've got one column, two column, various splits and so on. And that's really nice. Now I just want to show you one more thing. In order to access the WordPress widgets in Beaver Builder, especially the custom ones built for Inspiro, which include the WP Zoom portfolio showcase, um, then you just need to go to the group and select WordPress widgets. Now you're able to select the two um, 
WP Zoom ones here and the other two here. So we've got WP Zoom Portfolio Showcase. You can drop that in. Um, and then you're able to set the widget settings here. Save those, um, you obviously want to set those up as you want, but you can then see, I can very quickly drop that in and that just lets you access the um, WP Zoom widgets from Beaver Builder and that's really powerful. You can edit and duplicate it and so on later on if you'd like. I'm gonna remove that, press done, press publish, and that's some quick setup for Beaver Builder with Inspiro. So in just a couple of minutes, I've set up my site using this demo and I've learned how to use Beaver Builder. If you have any queries, then do check out the Inspiro documentation. You'll find a much longer video, um, which goes into more detail if you need it, as well as tutorials. And you can, of course, always contact our support team. Thanks very much for watching and enjoy your theme.